Good morning, everybody. Denise with Lazy K Homestead. Today is day five of our sourdough starter from scratch. So here is the starter that we have been working on. And you can see there's bubbles, tiny little bubbles in there. Nice and spongy. Just smells really good. Kind of smells like, um, I don't know, like a beer, old stale beer or something like that. But that's what you want it to smell like. You don't want any kind of foul smell. You're going to look at it and you're going to see that it looks good. There's nothing that looks odd. No black spots or white spots or anything. So here it is with, let me see if I can get that down so you can see. There we go. Just beautiful. So today we are going to add um, 150 grams of flour. And what we're going to do is start with our clean jar. Go ahead and put it on my scale. And let's see, you know what I haven't done for you guys is weighed out 150 grams of flour. So let me do that real fast because just in case somebody doesn't have a scale or they're not using a scale, let's see what that will be so I can give you an approximate. Now we will tell you the best thing I think and the most accurate measurement is having a kitchen scale. And they're not that expensive. You can get them on Amazon, Walmart, your local. I'm sure you can get them at Target or wherever. Okay. I am going to say that 150 grams... going to be a little bit over a cup and let me show you what that's going to look like real fast let me put this down so you can kind of see what I'm doing here move that out of the way we're at 142 right now that's why I say using a scale is really accurate more accurate than trying to do cups Okay, there is 150 grams of flour. I do have a little bit on my scale. Okay. All right, so that's what it looks like. So, um, I know that's not a quarter cup, so maybe it's a cup and an eighth. I don't know for sure, but... That's what it looks like if you're going by cups. Okay, so let's set that aside and we'll put our ball jar back on here. Let me go ahead and put you guys over here. Let me turn everything so you can see what we're doing. Okay, there we are. And we're going to tear it back to one. Uh, I keep saying 100. Tear it back to zero. Okay, there we go. Making sure it's on zero. We've got our distilled water at room temperature or you can have lukewarm whatever you've got not hot and not cold and you've got your starter from yesterday and we are going to go ahead and pour out 150 grams into our clean jar and I'll tell you what I did with my pour off yesterday which I it was an experiment and it worked so I'll tell you that in a minute I don't want anybody to get confused with what I'm doing. So, okay, we've got 150 grams of starter in our jar. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put this back on there and I'm going to tear it back to zero. Put my funnel on because it's a lot more and I'm a messy person. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in. Okay. 150 we're going to tear it back to zero and we are going to add you know let me get a liquid measure out I know I don't know if people differentiate between liquid and solid measures anymore or dry measures that's what I was taught I am going to pour a cup of distilled water in here that's one cup 
and let's just see how much this takes for 150. Okay, I went back and it's a cup of water. It's one cup of water is going to equal about 150 milliliters of, of water. I just wanted to make sure of that. Sorry if I'm confusing you. Okay, so we've added our starter, our 150 grams of flour, and uh, 150 grams or milliliters of water. So we're just going to go ahead and mix it up. All right, let's go ahead and mix this up just like we have been. Making sure all the flour is mixed with the water and the starter. You don't want any dry flour bits. It's a little bit looser than it was yesterday, so that's great. Okay, you see on the bottom there, I'm just kind of incorporating everything. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm just scraping this off so you get every bit that we possibly can. Now, sometimes on your spatula, you'll feel that you've got some dry bits of flour. And you, if you're going to put it back in here like I just did, you want to make sure that it is nice and mixed up really good. Okay. Spatula here, and I am going to try my best to see if I can clean up my jar a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. And there we go. Okay, so this is what we've got today. Now it will rise, you see, it's about a half a jar full, so it will probably rise all the way to the top. Tomorrow we're going to do the exact same thing. Now in a couple days we're going to add even more, so we'll have to have a little bit bigger jar. So we'll uh, go with probably, uh, I don't know, a half gallon jar or maybe whatever you've got on hand that's a little bit bigger than a regular um, uh, size ball jar that I've got here. So anyway, we are going to put our lid back on. We are going to, it's hot in my house today, so I am going to go ahead and just set this over on the stove like I have every day without its little blanket. Now, what I wanted to tell you guys what I did as an experiment, I have two starters in my fridge that I've had for about three years. And what I did, because I didn't want to just waste the, the pour off. I know I put it into my compost, but I was thinking since it was, you know, nice and bubbly still, I went ahead and fed my other starters with it. And man, did they do great. Now that was just an experiment, but I was really happy with it. They rose way up out of the jar and um, I'm going to save my pour off in my fridge and I'm going to use that in a couple weeks when I need to feed again. Now that's clearly up to you if you want to do that, whatever. Um, but you can also starting to, in two days, so day seven, we'll be able to use our starter in things like pancakes or muffins. You can't bake bread with it yet because it's not going to be quite to where it needs to be as a leavening agent, but you can add it into those things for a nice sourdough flavor. So that's it, guys. Day five. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Hope it's nice where you are. And I hope that you are trying the sourdough starter. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.